setting waves are causing serious damage to the planet. And growing demand for air travel means that the damage is only going to get worse. One technology that promises a greener way to travel is an electric aircraft. But how possible are they? And how big of an impact could they have? Keep watching and you might be surprised by what we have to share today. From Studio Invest. In this video we will be looking at how the age of electric airplanes will soon be upon us in regards to Archer Aviation Company, which will soon go public in a special purpose acquisition company, SPAC, called Atlas Crest or ACIC. We will also be looking at some pros and cons and why ARK Invest has bought shares in this company. Unless you're a big fan of global warming, then at the end of this video you should be able to understand why the future is electric airplanes. Okay, before we continue, like the smash button so this video gets out to more people and comment down below if there's any other emerging technology we should cover that might moon in the future. By the way, come hang out and discuss all kinds of investments with us and other finance fanatics on Discord. The link is in the description. Aviation pioneers have dreamed about the possibility of electric flight for decades. Long before the Wright brothers, Innovators were experimenting with batteries and electric motors to power airships and balloons. However, it took decades before battery technology advanced enough to power full-sized aircrafts. So, to answer the question, yes, electric planes are possible, but why isn't every industry on Earth clawing at the prospect of transitioning to renewable fuels? The aviation industry has one massive hurdle to overcome before it can successfully adopt renewable energy. Because of the energy density of our storage methods. Energy density is a measure of the energy we can harness from one kilogram of an energy source. For kerosene, which is the fuel jet aircrafts use, that's about 43 megajoules per kilogram. Currently, even our best lithium ion batteries come in around one megajoule per kilogram. Battery energy is over 40 times heavier than jet fuel. Planes are already getting more efficient. Fuel is one of the most significant costs for airlines, so engineers are heavily incentivized to squeeze as many miles out of each drop as possible. But those incremental improvements are being cancelled out by the 4.5% annual growth in demand for air travel, says the author of a new paper in Nature Energy. Electric airplanes could remove all of these sources of global warming, says Andreas Schaeffer, a professor at the UCL Energy Institute and lead author of the new study, which analyzes the potential economic and environmental impact of the electric aviation. But there are major technical and economic challenges to overcome before electric planes can make up a significant proportion of the global fleet. These opportunities are vast and simply too large to ignore, but the single largest challenge is the battery itself. A case study of a functional electric aircraft. The first flight of a fully electric commercial aircraft took place on the 10th of December 2019 in Vancouver, Canada, but it lasted in the air for just 15 minutes. Not the kind of ending we were all hoping for, I know, but great things take time. The plane was a 62-year-old, six-passenger seaplane that had been retrofitted with an electric motor. It was designed by Australian engineering firm Magniex and tested in partnership with Harbour Air the world's largest seaplane airline. The aircraft can only fly about 100 miles, 160 kilometers, for now. But we are very positive we will be making an update to this video in the nearest future to correct that. It's exciting because the aviation sector is a significant and rapidly growing contributor to global carbon emissions. And there are numerous research projects around the world underway to try and reduce its impact. A move to electric modes of transport is the ultimate goal for many of them. We'll get into the juicy part for all of you waiting to hear how you can take this information and implement it into your stock portfolio. But remember, we're not financial advisors, so do your own research as well. Palo Alto based Archer was launched in May last year and is backed by Mark Lohr, former chief executive officer of Walmart's e-commerce US. The company also took to their Twitter on the 9th of March 2021 to announce Uber Elevate co-founders Nikhil Gohl and Mark Moore will be joining their advisory board. Talking about electric and aviation, many have been called, but only a few were chosen. Just like Archer Aviation Inc., 
which is developing an electric aircraft that can travel up to 60 miles at 150 miles per hour. This aircraft doesn't require a long landing runway because it takes off as a helicopter and then have the propellers turn to airplane mode. As we mentioned previously, Archer will go public in a merger with New York-based Atlas Crest Investment Corporation, a special purpose acquisition company, aka SPAC. The $3.8 billion deal is expected to close in the second quarter of 2021 and will provide about $1.1 billion in gross proceeds to the combined company, including $600 million in a private investment in public equity, or PIPE from investors like United Airlines, Baron Capital Group, and investment banker Ken Mollies, they said. Separately, United Airlines has placed an order for $1 billion of Archer's aircraft, with an option to buy an additional $500 million of aircraft. The SPAC ACIC will go under the ticker ACHR once the merger is complete. The SPAC ACIC is at the time of this recording worth $627.5 million in market cap. Now, Take that into consideration that they've got an order of $1 billion from the United Airlines. Recently, we also saw the tweet from the mayor of Miami that got everyone talking. Okay, maybe we might have over exaggerated that a bit, but we're sure the mayor of Miami's tweet was a good indicator for the people at Archer Aviation that they will soon be working with Miami and even Los Angeles. It's definitely worth mentioning that Kathy Woods from ARK Invest believes in this company and the future that they aspire for as Kathy Woods ARK started buying the SPAC that will take Archer Aviation to public. ARCQ initiated a position of roughly 370,000 shares. Archer is developing electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft to serve as an environmental sustainable air taxi. Archer has also said it will take the wraps of its aircraft early this year, but production won't start until 2023. It is one of several companies who are chasing an electric air mobility market that Morgan Stanley says could be valued at $1.5 trillion by 2040 and driven by a combination of growing consumer acceptance and a favorable regulatory environment. The first commercial urban air mobility passenger routes will also be operational by 2025 and the passenger UAM market is estimated to grow to $90 billion in revenues by 2050 according to the research firm Interact. Pros of electric aviation. We have reached the gold mine of gold mines. The information you have been waiting to hear. But just before we dive into this gold mine, get your pickaxe and crush that like button and a piece to the YouTube gods. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Here are some compelling advantages to advancing electric aviation. Reliability. Electric motors are much simpler than complex internal combustion engines. In normal English, this just means that they have increased safety due to a decreased chance of mechanical failure and a less risk of explosion or fire in the event of a collision unlike most airplanes. They have fewer moving parts, making them less susceptible to wear and more reliable. The hope is that electric aircraft will require less downtime for maintenance reducing operation costs, which is a great advantage. Now, moving on to the next point. Ever been on a call in your sitting room and just had to put your call on hold because of the loud noise coming from a plane passing by that's probably 10,000 feet high up in the sky? Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's well, worry less. The next point will excite you. quieter. For a very long time, the aviation industry has been working to reduce aircraft noise to benefit passengers, airport employees and those who live around airports. Yet, noise pollution remains a significant problem. In some cases, concerns over noise have even impacted air traffic growth and the vitality of local airports. This is where electric aviation comes to save the day. How? Due to electric motors, they are much quieter sometimes nearly silent and can therefore be located in nearby residential areas. Because electric planes are quieter, airports can be built closer to destinations and they are capable of extreme short takeoffs since they don't have to gradually accelerate to lift off speeds. 
reduced costs. For some aviation companies, the decision to pursue electric propulsion is driven by potential cost savings, not necessarily environmentalism. Fuel costs are a major variable expense for airlines. And as prices rise, so do the costs of tickets for passengers. For general aviation pilots, high fuel prices can be a significant expense and a barrier to flying more often. The introduction of a hybrid or all-electric flight is a step toward making flying more affordable for everyone, like what Archer Aviation is doing with the urban air taxes. Indeed, a gift to humanity from above. Cons of electric aviation Like everything that has a good side, there will be disadvantages. But we will try not to focus too much on the negative side. However, it needs to be discussed to make an informative decision. We're all positive people on this channel, and we're sure all our viewers watching this video are very happy people as well. In the spirit of positivity, kindly leave a like on this video. It really helps us. Now, these are some of the most critical cons that are always mentioned whenever a discussion about electric airplanes comes up. be avoided. The disadvantages in an electric plane can be avoided by using some new techniques. To reduce the weight of airplanes, super lightweight carbon fiber construction techniques can be used. And to reduce the required power, a better sailplane design can be implemented. Also, lighter batteries like lithium-ion batteries can be used to make the planes lighter. Range. Though there will be environmental and cost benefits associated with the elimination of consumption of fossil fuels and resultant emissions by making use of electric planes, the range will be a hindrance in its implementation. The range for vehicles on the road is 160 to 400 kilometers. It's not the same with the electric planes. The current range in electric planes is low, about 100 to 250 miles, which is quite impractical in case of flying to distant destinations. But it's perfect for cities with a lot of traffic like Miami or Los Angeles. The future of electric aviation. A long tail of activities that happened in the past decade have led to this little explosion in electrification. In the future, Instead of those 176 pounds of carbon emissions for one round-trip flight from San Francisco to Los Angeles with American Airlines, an emissions-free aircraft like Archer could fly that same distance. Tesla made the masses believe in electric cars. Now, many companies want flyers to believe in electric planes. The future of flying is definitely electric. Aviation startups are working to remove expensive, polluting jet fuel from the flight equation and replace it with electric batteries. The past 15 years have seen a huge number of notable electric flights take off, lasting 20 minutes to several days. The experimenting continues today, but more so with passenger flights. This new wave of research and development comes as jet fuel prices have skyrocketed, and US and foreign regulators have put out calls to reduce emissions. Instead of only two people on a 300-mile flight, the electric plane industry wants to one day match what we consider everyday commercial flights. If you think these are only small planes, it's because they are compared to the planes that industry giants like Boeing and Airbus develop. Archer and its competitors are building puny aircraft, but it's a big achievement to get a handful of people several hundred of miles on an electric charge. If these flights work out, they could be a game changer, especially for the environment. Until then, it's time to work on your carbon footprint here on the ground. Your gas guzzling car might not emit as much as that plane trip, but it's still a lot. Thanks for watching! Kindly leave a like on this video if you found it informative and subscribe to this channel. Also, we'd like to see your thoughts on electric planes. So do comment below what you think. Yeah. Wing it and dance. Oh.